So you've got some kind of decision that you need to make over here. And it's going to be something that um, brings about some life-changing um, event. Um, it also brings in a lot of uh, enlightenment. So this particular choice is going to bring you into the light. If you've got the sun over there and you've got um, Uranus and Uranus is a liberator. So it brings that liberation, that freedom. So this uh, particular choice is very, very important for you to get your personal freedom and for you to move forward in life. You've also got uh, um, Mars with the sun here. This is focusing a lot on work and focusing on, you know, ambition and putting all your efforts and your energies into your work and into your personal growth. Um, and, you know, a lot of enlightenment coming in as well with this. So you've been very, very focused on getting yourself moving, uh, um, you know, uh, and overcoming any kind of difficulties. And there's been a lot of abundance being um, um, presented to you. So some opportunities have come your way, and you've been very, very focused on that um, with this card. Then you've got... Um, a little bit of delay coming on over here. So you've got uh, Sun with Venus over here. So there might be a little bit of delay in moving forward. So maybe waiting for something to come through. Um, maybe waiting for money to come in through you. Maybe waiting for a promotion or waiting for some kind of recognition to come in. This looks like, you know, it might be that you're waiting for some kind of promotion or something to do with uh, advancing your personal finances and you're just sitting and waiting for that to come um, um uh, waiting for some news for that on that particular front. So in the past, in the past, you've been dealing with um, a love or uh, uh, emotions or a relationship. It might have been a very difficult uh, situation that you're dealing with. There's been a lot of drama in it. You've got this fire over here. You've got Mars and uh, Venus over here, and they don't usually get along. So maybe you have been having a lot of difficulties in the relationship, and you've been trying to sort that out. You've been trying to focus on your. Um, um, expanding your uh, your wealth really you know changing your luck you've got this card of jupiter over here so this is expansion change it's usually about the wheel of fortune so you've been trying to um you know bring about abundance and it it has been coming you've been looking looking at it maybe you've been even doing some studying uh maybe involved in that because jupiter is also a planet of uh, mental expansion so maybe changing your views about things or maybe doing some further studying and improving your skill set as well uh and this is also you know trying to change that wheel of fortune by doing something to make a change so you know like i said improving skill sets or learning new new things in order for you to um you know advance in your career so going into the future, you've got the moon over here and you've got this reconciliation card. So with the moon is about being depressed about something and it might be you, you might be dealing with a mother or maternal uh, like figure that you're having problems with or that person's having problems. This is the end of a cycle. So whatever difficulties that you've been going through mentally or uh, depression wise or you know, emotionally wise, it's not coming into an, to an end because it's the, the phase, um, you know, it's the ending of the cycle. The crab is about the um, cancer, which re rules the home. So there's some kind of family issues that are going on that you're dealing with. And, you know, you're having a bit of problems over there. You've got this rod in your hand. So, you know, this is about arguments going on. Uh, and, you know, you're trying to get enlightenment about it. She's holding this uh, little... Um, light in a hand so you know you're trying to get some kind of input insight into what's happening but the cycle is now coming to an end so any kind of problems you've been dealing with is now beginning to go away or it will go away and you know any kind of depression you know you are coming out of that phase at this particular moment <laughs> You've got reconciliation and healing as well going on over here. So you've got Jupiter with Mars over here. This is personal healing going on and a change and abundance coming in. So whatever difficulties uh, that you've been uh, dealing with in, on the family front, it looks like there's some healing going on. And if you've had any breakup of relationships or any miscommunications or any problems, it looks like there will be some kind of re reconciliation that will come in. So those are the energies for that week. So this is the Green Witch Tarot. Oops. I have shuffled this deck. Doesn't look like it wants to be shuffled anymore. Okay, so let's just draw some cards. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the high priestess over here. So this is about trying to get, um, you know, some insight into whatever's been going on, being a bit confused because you've got this full moon over here. And that means that, you know, you've not had a lot of clarity 
um, you know, she's trying to, uh, you can see she's putting things into this uh, her little um, pot over here. So, uh, you know, trying to, to look and, and find the answers. Um, and, um, you know, maybe you've also been doing study as well, because the high priestess is to do with hidden information, things being hidden from you. But, you know, trying to, um, to make the best out of a difficult situation. Uh, not seeing everything clearly, you know, spending a lot of time with yourself, um, you know, and being a little bit uh, depressed as well with this high priestess. And also following your instincts. Maybe this is what you've been doing, trying to, um, you know, look for the answers, look for the solutions to the problems in order for you to to uh, get some kind of insight as to what has been going on. Uh, you know, it, it seems like very dark uh, cards. So it seems like, you know... Uh, things have not been revealed to you. There has been a lot of hidden things, people doing things uh, that you are not aware of. Um, and you've been trying to find the answers, trying to search, and maybe nobody's been coming forth with the answers to whatever problems you had. It looks like you've had uh, quite a few obstacles and you've been trying to look within yourself to find the solutions to those problems to get out of the situation. And also there's the moon almost reflected in that pot. So it's, it's as though, you know... Um, there's been a lot of uh, lies, confusion, uh, you know, in, and uh, you haven't had uh, clarity in dealing with situations. It, the moon never, ever reveals the truth. And, you know, you've been working with what everybody else has been saying, using whatever they've been saying, and it's not produced any results. Uh, so uh, they have not, maybe you've been misled by a lot of people, uh, and you've been taking their advice, and it's not really been ha helping with this high priestess. Now, what's happening with you? You've got the Nine of Wands over here and the King of Pentacles here. So you've been, uh, you know, trying to get through a lot of problems. You've got these Nine Rods over here trying to sort out a lot of difficulties. And finally, you're standing up for yourself and, you know, you're, you're taking a stand for what you believe in. Uh, you might have also been dealing with a lot of difficulties. You know, this is a King of Pentacles. So you might have been dealing with a Capricorn, um, a Taurus or a Virgo person, an Earth sign person. Generally, the King of Pentacles represents Capricorn, so you might well be dealing with a Capricorn person and you've been having a lot of problems with this person. Uh, you can see, you know, a lot of battles being fought with this person and you're finally standing up to them. Um, you know, maybe this person is somebody that you work with because there's a focus on money here. Uh, but whatever problems you're dealing with has got some kind of financial connotations with it and you've been dealing with these problems and now you're standing up to this person. So this could well be the case, um, that you're dealing with somebody um, on on the work front or somebody who is uh, an earth sign person and it's got um you know it's got to do with money and you're finally standing up um to them you've got also that cow in the background over there so you can see it's it's got definitely got to do with money issues uh, that you're dealing with and you know you're finally taking a stand against this particular person so in the past you've got the two of cups uh this is um a relationship that you've been dealing with there could have been issues uh, involved in that relationship or it could be well that you know you have a very very uh, good relationship and this person is very very supportive uh, they're able to give you that um, help and also they open a lot of doors for you so maybe this new relationship that you have or this um, liaison that you have with this person has presented new opportunities for you you've got the four of athemis over here which is the four of swords you've been dealing so maybe this uh, you know the relationship has caused a lot of stress too um, this could be a difficult relationship and you know it's caused a lot of problems uh, this cut um, the four of uh, swords is usually after the three of swords so maybe you have had a relationship that has had a breakup or kind of some kind of miscommunication and uh, now you're you're in the last few months you're dealing with that um, breakup that you went through so you could have been in a relationship that broke up and you're now having to deal with the aftermath of it so you're getting over a, a breakup um, after you know this could have been a marriage this could have been something that went uh, some kind of a committed relationship and there was a breakup because there's almost like a card missing between these two and now you're dealing with this you're coming to terms with it you're going through facts and you you're getting back your power again if you like so there's four swords over there the three you're using the fourth sword as an idea on how to deal with that breakup so you're coming up with a new idea or uh, you're getting some mental clarity on how to deal with this breakup that you went through So you've got the page of Athamas over here. So this might have been a legal situation. Maybe the person that you were dealing with was very deceptive. 
uh, because it's the page of swords, which is a very deceptive person. They behave very childishly. Um, you know, there could have been a lot of lies that was spoken. This is also waiting for some legal news to come in. So maybe you had a breakup with this person that you were in and you are waiting for, um, you know, it ended on a legal front and you're waiting for that legal news to come in as well. Uh, you know, it's not, everything is not above board. There's some kind of deception going on over here because you've got the moon over here and you've got this owl over here. So some kind of information that comes to you is not quite uh, savory. <laughs> Let me put it to you that way. So be aware of that. There might be a lot of lies and deception, things going on behind the scenes that you're not really aware of. This person obviously has been behaving in a very childish way over here, and they've been saying things that, or maybe doing things that are very hurtful. And like I said, you could well even be hearing news, uh, legal news that comes in that, it, you know, is not, does not make you very happy. It's something that uh, is a bit difficult to deal with whatever news is coming in, because it's, there's some kind of, uh, deceit that is involved with that kind of that news so you've got the two of wands of yan this is you making a decision to move forward it looks like you're going to make some kind of movement there's some kind of uh, maybe relocation moving on making a decision whether to stay or to go uh it seems like you're at that particular stage at this particular moment so you're trying to make a choice about whether you want to stay here um, in this particular situation maybe it is something that is not as comfortable as you'd like it to be uh, or you want to move because you've got this person's, all their things are belongings are packed at the back of this cart. So you are trying to make a decision about whether to stay or to go. Maybe you've had it enough. Maybe you've been dealing with this earth sign person. You're standing up to them because there's been so many problems with them. And now you're making this decision to move on. And you can't decide whether you want to stay in the situation and continue uh, with the lies and deceit or problems that are going on or the childish behavior or whether you want to move forward. So you might be at that kind of problems. And maybe whatever they're saying is not, um, you know, they're not telling you everything. Uh, you're having to, uh, you know, um, come up with uh, um, solutions to whatever problems there is, despite the fact that things are not very clear to you. Because there are two moon cards over here. There. The moon is in two cards here. So there is definitely an element of lies, deceit, something going on over here. And then maybe this is the reason why you want to leave the stability and move on. So you add some kind of choice that you have to make. And you can see here with the two of pentacles. Now the pentacles could be choosing a job whether to stay in a particular job or to move on because there's money, there's something that involves money. This choice that you make has got um, financial connotations to it. So it's about money and stability, security. The pentacles could also, it, it signifies anything uh, of possession, so uh, anything um, material. So it can be in the form of staying in a house or it could be about a job, it could be about finances. So there's some kind of decision that affects uh, your material stability, and you're trying to decide which one is the best one to make, which is the best choice to make. Um, you know, this could be about a job, moving on from a job, because you've got a little fox over there and deciding whether to stay. But with a house over there, it's talking about, you know, your, your actual residence, moving on or staying. Um, the King of Pentacles is also about, you know, finances, but could also be about you know your where you are living, so you are trying to make some choice, and there are two cards of choice here. You've got the two of wands, which is about movement. The two of wands is about actual physical movement, and the pentacles is about um, your finances. So there's some big decision that you have to make, and you're sitting there and you're considering it right now. You got the eight of pentacles, so you are very focused on your work. You are trying to work. You're working very, very hard, putting a lot of effort in it. You are specializing in what you're doing. There's some opportunity that is being presented to you as well on your work front because you've got this door open over here. It's a new doorway opening. So maybe there's a new pathway that you follow um, in your work. It's going to involve more study as well because this is about learning uh, and specializing and focusing on it and becoming very, very good at whatever you're doing. It's about very, very intricate work as well. And um, so you, you've got that going on as far as your work front goes and trying to decide whether or not what, what is a priority in your life. You're trying to, uh, you know, you're doing a financial assess assessment. You're assessing everything that you've done and accumulated and deciding whether or not you want to stay or go, really, from this particular situation. You might have to travel to do this job that you're doing. So the witch card is talking about, it's the magician. It's having all the skills and talents that you need and now trying to manifest. And that's what you want to do. You want to manifest a better life for yourself. You do have all the training that you need. 
so you are trying to manifest something different, something good. So going into the future, you've got the uh, Five of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and uh, the Battle Wagon. So it looks like, you know, you do feel um, financially inadequate. Uh, they say left out in the cold, isolated, being excluded, uh, not being taken seriously, uh, you know, feeling as though you're in the winter of your life and that there is no support for you. Nobody really cares. So this is how you're feeling right now. A, a, a great sense of lack, a great sense of disconnect from everybody. And um, you've got the three of wands. It looks like you are going to take your things and move because you can see this man's packed all his things. The ship is there um, and he, it looks like he's ready to travel. And you've got the, the chariot over here. So it looks like you are going to make some kind of home move. It seems like you've packed everything up and you are ready to move. Uh, you know, you are at that point again. Even here, it's almost as though he's waiting to make that decision. Something is holding you back. Something is not making it. Because the sails are not up yet. They're, you know, he hasn't launched the ship. The, the cargo is waiting to be loaded. It looks like you're waiting to load the cargo. Um... So it looks like you want to make that decision. You're ready to go. You have decided and you are ready to go. And it looks like with the chariot card, you will go. So it looks like you're going to make a home move. You might buy a new home and move off. Uh, you might even move, um, relocate to do your job somewhere else. It might be a foreign relocation as well. So you might move away from your home and go and, and, and work somewhere else. And you're quite decided. It looks like you finally make that decision over here with this chariot card. So uh, this is definitely a home move. So you are, you are trying to, maybe you're trying to buy a new home here as well with this two of pentacles. And you're trying to gather the money and you're doing a financial assessment to see whether or not you can afford to buy this place. But it looks like you're going to be moving as well. Uh, relocating, doing the same job somewhere else, or going to a foreign place to do a job as well. So it looks like you're making a decision to actually move. So something with the, in the situation that you are, you're fed up of, you've been fighting too many fights and now you're taking a stand and you've had enough. Um, you've been dealing with somebody here. Maybe this is a new job offer as well, because the King of Pentacles could also be an offer coming in for you as far as finance goes. So maybe you are going to take up that offer and you're just at the deciding phase right now that you want to move on. So there's some big life change coming in for you here. It's, it's having a financial impact as well as an impact on where you are living. And it looks like you're going to make some kind of change. So you've got the high priestess over here, which says, listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want to do before acting. So even here, you've got this high priestess to open the reading. Uh, so it says, make sure that you're looking at all the facts and figures and thinking about it very carefully, following your intuition before you move on. You've got the Emperor card over here, which is organization and logic, structure, discipline, and leadership. So this is really taking control over the situation. And because it's ruled by Archangel Michael, maybe this is the thing that is keeping you back. You're waiting for some kind of legal decision to be made uh, before you move forward. So this is going to be the deciding factor, some kind of legal outcome. And once that is made, you decide that you're going to move forward. And the Eight of Earth says skilled work, uh, rewarded, learning all there is to know, and uh, going back to school. So you've got the Eight of Earth of Year, and you've got the Eight of Pentacles here. So it looks like you're going to make that decision to move forward as far as your career goes. It might involve some kind of further study, further learning, um, but focusing on your career, and you're going to make some kind of home move as well. Moving on, you're just waiting for some kind of decision to come through. Even here with this Five of Pentacles, it looks like you're waiting for a financial decision, some kind of legal decision, some kind of financial decision to come through. You're just waiting for it. And once that comes through, it looks like it's going to be positive because you decide to take your things and move. The chariot card is a card about achievement and victory. So whatever you decide to do, this move that you're going to make is going to be a successful move. And you will uh, achieve everything that you set yourself. But you need to take control. And that card is counseling about taking charge, making a decision and moving on. So I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.